With a single component of our guard piece completed, we are going to use this exercise to create and position the three copies that we need in order to complete the basic shape as a whole. After selecting our mesh in the front viewport then, let's hit the Alt and W keys to maximize the view, engage the rotate tool by means of the E key, and then with the angle snap option turned on and whilst holding down the shift key, click and drag to rotate by 90 degrees. We will want three copies here, so let's set that, and then click OK. We can use the Move tool to visually separate these in the viewport, if we like, because what we're going to do is use Vertex Snapping to place them in the exact locations that we need, which essentially means overlapping each of the corners. Grabbing either of the vertices on a corner piece then, let's start snapping these into place making certain that we are zoomed in close enough to the geometry in the view for the snaps to be nice and accurate. And as we go here, we should be able to see our overall object taking shape. Now at this point, we can perhaps start to see the importance of planning ahead, as the inset that we created a few exercises ago in order to create this outside shape now becomes really important. Too thin and the guard will look really flimsy too thick and it may become obvious that the diver would never be able to see past it. Because we added an edit poly modifier in the stack to perform that inset though, we do have the ability to go back and adjust the edges and vertices on the shape if we needed to. Although we don't of course have the ability to just go and adjust the inset itself, we would simply have to use standard modeling tools such as selections and transforms in order to do that. What we need in our next exercise then is to look at attaching and welding the various shapes that we have created here so that we can go ahead and add some volume to the geometry as a whole.